Hey everyone and welcome. I'm Dino Minoxilis. Okay, so check it out. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly, step by step, how to attach your PortaFlex head to your PortaFlex cabinet so that you can take full advantage of all the flip-top features of the PortaFlex. Okay, when you first receive your PortaFlex cab, I know first thing you're going to want to do is feverishly unpack it. Well, when you do, just remember a couple of things. When you pop open the cabinet, you'll notice a black MPEG bag on the bottom of the cabinet. That contains your pop-in casters. You'll also notice another plastic bag that contains a nice speaker cable, as well as four longer screws with what we call beauty washers. Put these aside, because we'll be using these in a little bit. Okay, so first thing we need to determine is which head we're going to fasten to the cabinet. In this case, I'm going to choose the PF350. So as you can see, I flipped over my 350 on its back. I also like to put a towel or something over my workspace so that I don't scratch the gear that I'm working on. So that's why the towel's down. We're going to take our Phillips screwdriver and we're going to remove the four rubber feet. Now we're going to take the screws out of the feet and put them aside. Now separate the screws from the rubber feet and put the screws aside because we're really not going to need them again. Okay, so I've taken the lid off of my PortaFlex cabinet. In this case, I'm working with a PF115 AG. Now, just to note, whether you're working with a 115 or a 210, it doesn't matter because the lid size is identical. This is the handle side. This is the amp side. Now, you'll notice on the lid, there's two different bolt patterns. There's an outer bolt pattern and there's an inner bolt pattern. The inner bolt pattern is for the smaller amp, the PF350. The outer bolt pattern is for the larger amp, the larger footprint, the PF500. So what we're gonna do is now I'm gonna remove these caps from the lid and you'll see pre-drilled holes in there. But once you get a grip on them, they should come out just like that. Now, as you can see, the hole is pre-drilled. Okay, but it's not pre-drilled on this side. It's only on one side where the caps are. Okay, so we'll cover that in a second. Let me pull these holes out and I'll be right back. I've got the holes out. Now, like I said, there's no holes on this side. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my... Phillips screwdriver and I'm just very simply going to insert it into the hole that's pre-drilled until I see it pop through the Tolex. Okay, now I'll do it on this hole as well. Here, I'll get a close-up and you can see it just pushing through the Tolex right there. Okay, now you don't want to push all the way through because you don't want to pull the Tolex off of the wood. So now that you've got it marked, you just simply come over to this side and push through the Tolex. Okay, we're going to do it on this hole as well. Okay, so now I've established these two holes. Okay, I'll do these two here. I've located my holes. Here, I'm going to push the screwdriver through, and then down here. Okay, now it's very important that you make sure you're accessing the right holes. Okay, remember, the inner bolt pattern, not the outers. Again, depending on the head. If you're doing a 500, then you want to make sure it's the outer bolt patterns. What you don't want to do is you don't want to punch holes through the wrong pattern then realize well, I've got the wrong head for this hole pattern, and now you've got these unnecessary holes through your Tolex. So I've got the four longer screws that I was talking about that came with the cabinet, as well as the beauty washers that came with them as well. So I'm simply going to take the screw, put it into the top of the beauty washer, like so, and then I'm going to take this and put it through the holes that I've already established and that's what it should look like now on the other side you should have the four screws 
coming through the bottom. Now remember those rubber feet that we took off the bottom of the amp? We're going to reuse these, okay? So we want it so that this part is facing up and this part is facing the lid, okay? So we're just simply going to put the rubber feet over the screws. And now we're ready to attach our head onto this. Now, one thing to note, it is very important that there is a definite front and back to the lid in terms of the bolt pattern. And if I flip this around, you'll see that this bolt lines up with this hole. However, this bolt does not line up with this hole. The easiest thing to do is just simply flip the head because now this bolt pattern should work. This bolt lines up with this hole, and this bolt lines up with this hole. So I know that this is the front of the lid, this is the rear of the lid, and the amp should sit perfectly just like that, okay? Now it is kind of tricky making sure that all four screws find all four holes on the bottom of the amp. So it does take a little work. Once you've got one established, then you can fasten the other three onto the amp. And I'm going to fasten, I found one hole with this screw. It is the second hole. It might take you a couple of times to get the screws established into the holes on the bottom of the amp. Once you've got that, then simply flip everything upside down like this so that the lid is sitting on the amp. Okay, then we want to take our screwdriver and we just in a crisscross pattern, we just want to snug these up. We don't want to go too tight just yet. We just want to make the screws flush. Now we've established the head is on there pretty snug. Okay, let's flip it back up. Okay, now we can go back and tighten everything up. Now again, you don't want to tighten them too tight. About as tight as you can get it that way with two fingers. And that should be plenty snug. And again, like I said, you want to do it in a crisscross pattern. And there you have it. So there you have it, folks. You've got your brand new PF350 attached to your brand new Portaflex cab. That's not going anywhere. There's transport mode. There's gig mode. Okay, and again, like I said, the lids are interchangeable. So this lid came off of a PF115 HE. It will swap right onto a PF210 HE just as easily. So if you've got two cabs, but you've got one head mounted to one of the cabinets, you can pick and choose whichever cab you want to take. The lids will transfer. You don't have to disassemble the head from the lid to put it on another cabinet. 